Hey guys, thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video on uh, my plasma cutting tip. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you're aware that I recently just picked up a Hypertherm uh, 45 and uh, new to plasma cutting myself and really enjoying it. Uh, I just can't, can't uh, get my hands off this thing. I just want to cut stuff. So if, if you're, the, the Hypertherm here has a drag tip, so you can actually hold the tip right on the, right on the base. There's some slots there when you're when you're doing your cutting and there's various diameters here it's three diameters this first one's roughly about 385 then it goes to about 560 and then this main body is about an inch or it is an inch and so when you're going to cut on some material you need to um, line up of course you have a line that you're going to cut on and then you actually, it's no different than a saw blade. You're going to have a kerf. So the kerf on the, um, the kerf that this unit produces, um, I got to click my camera here, see if I can show you what I'm seeing. So there's a, uh, there's the kerf and it's about 45 thousandths. So when you're making a cut, you want to know, of course, which side of the kerf you're on. And so laying out a line and then typically you know you would end up putting a straight edge and then you're going to be dragging on the straight edge and you could drag on on the lower one well i've actually bumped off of that i was i was just having some interesting issues of course being a newbie at it and it was a little frustrating so i thought about it and i said eh, i want to i want to make a straight edge that i can flop down and measure to and make a cut and know that I'll get my dimension that I want and get a straight line. Now there's, you know, there's different devices that'll go onto the tip uh, with wheels and stuff. They're, ex they're expensive and uh, I didn't want to go there just starting out. So I thought I'd show you my, my, what I came up with. And that's my tip. So what I have here is a straight edge that um, I've, uh, it's just a piece of angle iron and I attached another piece and so you can see right here it says 750 and right here it's two inches so when I set this down on a on a scribe line so here, here's an example you might be able to see the scribe line there it's, it says two inches so when I set the back of this right there that line I'm going to cut two inches away. So I made this pass, cut it, and it's two inches, 22,000. So it's a very simple way to lay out and know either I can go 750 or two inches. Put this down, clamp it down on it, and I'm running the one inch dimension against there, and basically you just scribe right across to make the cut. So that's my tip. I think it's going to work really well, very quick. I'm going to take this this unit here and uh, probably leave it this long or uh, possibly cut it and have a small little shorty for small stuff and a longer one but uh, that's why there's no goofing around with measuring trying to figure out where the kerf is um, set it and go so that's my tip i thought i would share it with you appreciate you stopping by the channel and uh, we'll catch you next uh, screwy tuesday thanks So I thought I'd show you a quick example. So here I want to cut a piece at one inch. Made my mark at two inches. So real simple. Put this guy down. Put my straight edge on my two inch mark. Clamp it down, double check it, and holding the body against there, it's real simple. And 
and I got my one inch piece cut off, not a problem. Works, uh, works really well, nice and quick for getting the alignment. Don't have to, you know, if I was trying to, if I, let's see, let's flip this around. If I was going to cut this line right here and freehand it, now I gotta now I gotta sit here and try to get this guy lined up on that line and try to somehow pull it straight. And as you can see watching that, it's probably straight enough for welding, but in a little grind on there, but you can see the other side is a perfect straight line. So anyway, that's my tip. I hope it helps everybody. If you got any comments, i uh, love to hear it and uh, share your ideas. Again, thanks for stopping by.